were talking and Duno was convinced that uh Bad Bunny Bad Bunny is going to pass on Michael Jackson. That's what he said. Shit, I mean, I said it's doing, not doing something right He's now. killing. I said it's not humanly possible yeah, I mean, to pass up Michael Jackson two I don't different know what the times. Fuck he's huh? I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Not even not even necessarily what he's saying. It's just the time of music. Like with streams. Like it's not the same as people going and grab the album. I ain't gonna lie. I love his harmonies, his cadences. Kill I just don't know what the fuck he's saying, but I, it's still hard as fuck though. Uh, bro, I feel you know the same way. I'm like, yeah, this is hard. I'm in the concert. I'm over there. Yeah, this is hard. He be killing it, bro. No, but on some real shit, the concert was cracking. But I'm saying, we, we, uh, we broke down how many albums that uh, Thriller sold versus how many Bad Bunny has sold so far, like his highest. Uh, so we showed Duno. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's different times. But as I said, it's that. But that's why I said it's not possible. Now, of today's time, Bad Bunny is the biggest artist. Hands down. Yeah, he's killing shit. That nigga, ain't nobody fucking... I don't know who can sell out the SoFi nah. two nights in a row. I don't that's, think no artist can do that shit. That's insane. That is that is crazy. That's insane. That is crazy. That's more than a Super Bowl. Yes. And two nights in a row sold out. So far, that's 70,000 people capacity. It's amazing. <laughs> Shout out to Bad Bunny, man. Shout out to Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is thing. doing his fucking thing. But Michael Jackson, man, is like... Yeah, man. Michael Jackson just iconic, bro. He's just... He's he's iconic. I, it's a different time, though. You know what I'm saying? Like... But like I was... Shit crazy, but like, like I was telling Duno, too, now. was that Michael Jackson could go anywhere in the world and they fucked with him. Yeah. Musically. Different time though. Different time. But he's still doing the shit. Bad Bunny killing. Oh, Bad Bunny is killing. The concert was cracking. He's major. Super. There's nobody bigger than Bad Bunny in music. He's major. Nobody. I don't I don't think there's no rapper that can sell out the sofa two nights in a row. By theirself. Do you think so, Bun? A rapper? Yes, by themselves. Any rapper. Hell no. Mm -mm. Two nights in a row? The sofa? Sold out? Nah. Nah, that's crazy. Ain't happening. That's crazy numbers right there. That's big boy numbers, man. Ridiculous numbers. Damn. That nigga living a life. That nigga living a life, bro. I heard he getting a 90-10 uh, split, too. 90-10? 90-10. Yeah. That's crazy if it's true. I mean, but if you the biggest artist in the world... You can negotiate some shit like that. It's amazing. A nigga like shit. I just give me 10%. That's up. 10% is up. 5% is up. Yeah, just give me 10. That's up. Think about it. How much you think? You get some dollars. You getting some dollars. 70,000 capacity, two nights in a row. It's 140,000 tickets sold. How 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 much do you think that they made the venue? A lot. How many M's? A lot. Yeah, merch. Nigga. Oh, I didn't even think shit. about the merch. All kind of shit. Niggas be working on kind of deals. You, you got to remember, like, bro, a lot of these, I don't know, it'd be how your deal is set up. But a lot of times, niggas be doing this shit. This is what people don't understand. Like, you can set it up to where you get the parking lot, nigga, where you get the motherfucking merch, where you get the kind of... Uh, the parking the lot? The food, or like, all that shit. Like, depending on who you are and what type of deal you work out with the venue. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I mean? Damn. Bad Bunny for sure got some shit worked out. Then, bro, he got the endorsements, too. Yeah, man. He's a boy. He's a boy. Fuck with it. That's amazing. See, but... You know how iconic it is for a nigga, your son, to be so invested into Michael Jackson. Yeah. Way past his time. Yeah, like five generations later. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, well, your son puts on the whole ensemble. Five generations. And he's later. he's he's glued to it. A lot of a lot of kids right now, still to this day. Til, around still around the world. To this day, around. The around world. the world, not just here. That shit is crazy. It's a real icon right there. 
That shit is crazy. MJ, the motherfucking goat, man. MJ's the greatest of all time, man. Yeah, he was in a league of his own, man. You know what I'm saying? League so, of his own. It's different times now because it's like, it's so oversaturated with artists. You know what I mean? It's like so much politics now. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was perfect then. Michael Jackson could be that nigga standing apart from everybody. It wasn't nobody like him. You know what I'm saying? Who else was like Michael Jackson out there at the time? There was nobody could compare to that boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They was like the closest motherfucker who was competing with him was like Prince. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's real shit. But like now in today's times, it's like it's a lot of motherfucking artists you compete with. Who do you think is who do you think is the most influential? We already said Bad Bunny, but who do you think is the most influential artist of our time right now in hip hop? Yeah, that's a crazy one. The would, most would influential. It be, would it be Kanye? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. It would have to Hands be. Hands down, right? It would have to be. If we talking about overall. Overall. Now, if we talking about young demographic, like young, who's the most influential? Young I mean, boy. It's, yeah, it's like young boy. I mean, what's the name made a good point yesterday? Uh, For like, I mean, it depends, bro. It depends. Cause Chief Keith kicked off a lot of shit. I, yeah, Chief Keith is influential. Super influential. Yeah. He, he kicked, birthed a lot of rappers. He kicked off a lot of shit. Chief Keith, I mean, for and then, sure. And then you gotta understand too. On for the same sure. time, Kodak, Kodak too. Kodak brought a whole style too. You know what I'm saying? But when, but see, but when you when you say Chief Keith, nigga, that's everybody. The Uzis, the Kodaks, the young boy. It's everybody involved in yeah. that. Like he he made that wave. But damn, that shit crazy. But I'm talking about the hip hop period. It, it got to be Kanye. Of our time. Yeah, for sure. Overall, influential? Hell yeah. Come on, man. Who else got... Who else can sell shoes? That nigga went from Nike. Ventures with Gap. That nigga, went, shit, that that nigga went from Nike, made Adidas hot. Nigga, what? <laughs> man, he made Gap hot. What? Like, come on, man. Nigga, shoes selling for $4,000. $6,000. What other rapper could do that? What other rapper got shoes right now? That niggas would wear. What other rapper got shoes? That's a good question. Would you even Oh, wear... you know what? Drake got shoes, but niggas don't fuck with them. The Nikes, Jordans and shit. The OVO Jordans. When he drop, when he be dropping his shit, they be, they be fucking with it. It was just limited. Not like Kanye. No. Kanye shit is everywhere. But. Oh, Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Travis, Travis Scott. Scott would be up there with, with Travis Yeezy. Travis Scott. Travis Scott and Yeezy is up there. Those two niggas is. For sure. When it comes to shoes, for sure. Shit. Nigga, Travis Scott, nigga, yeah. Travis Scott influential. But see, that's that's Travis Scott's shoes with they are already Jordans. Known Jordans. They not I like mean, yeah, if you if you want to look at it like that, Kanye. Kanye made, made a new type of shoe. Designed them all that. He, shit. Yeah, yeah. From the slides to everything. Yeezys. Yeezys. You right. And he did that with Nike too. Them red Octobers are like what, like 40000 30000 for the shoe? If you could find them, like, nah. Somebody said Pharrell. What well, shoes? Pharrell had Adidas, but uh, those didn't really go crazy like, like Yeezys. Nah. Nah. That was hot for a minute, though. Pharrell had some hot little. Yeah, but for, not like Yeezy, though. Pharrell made skateboard culture hot in hip hop. Nigga, that nigga was one of the flyest niggas out. He was killing Fashion. Mm hmm. When Pharrell. Nigga, when Pharrell was doing all that with skateboard P shit, then that's when Lupe came, and that's when the skateboard shit got big. Moss, Mossberg 400 said, Little House Phone, nigga. Shout out to Little House Phone. What's the shit called again? High Rollers. I got a high rollers. Seven. There you go. Shout out to Little House Phone and pairs, High Rollers, I, man. I got three pairs of High Rollers. High man. Rollers going to be the next Yeezys, baby. I believe it. Let's go, House Phone. And he, Turn uh, that shit up, boy. He showed me a new design. Too that shit hard. Oh, he's switching it up from like the Air Force look. He he he's adding shit to to, to make it his own. You feel know I me? Mean? It's still gonna look like the Air Forces though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, everybody doing some shit like that. I fuck with the cool guys. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing. But you want fuck? You want fuck with the cool guys? Yeah, I fuck with cool guys. Nigga, you just zoned out right now. What the fuck just happened? I was trying to think of who's who came out with like their own shoe design. 
as of late that niggas fuck with that's like his own design. That's not like a, a mimic of the forces or a mimic of the Jordans. Who came out with a shoe? And I'm like, damn, who the fuck came out? It's crazy. Like basketball shoes. Who was that uh, Cardo just did a collab with? Cardo? Yeah. Was it Kevin Durant? Or Kyrie? Producer Cardo? Yeah. How did he see that? You didn't see him? That motherfucker's kind of hard on some basketball shoes. I don't even wear basketball shoes, but that motherfucker's hard. On like some today basketball shoes. You didn't see him? Mm-mm. Hey, who saw those shoes that uh, Cardo got, the collab? Let me see some. Cardo shoe collab. He like helped with the design, but it's a Nike shoe, a basketball shoe. Yeah, the Cardi B. Okay, I can't Google that shit. Yeah, I think it's like uh, like Kevin Durant, I want to say. I can look it up on this page real quick. Yeah, look it up. Y'all done with community cleats? Yeah, fire. That be fire. Good cleats. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kevin Durant. It's Kevin Durant. He's right here. Let me see. Some basketball shoe shit. Would you wear them? I know. Yeah. I will. I mean, I'm so, yeah. Uh, I'll wear them to support the homie. Shout out to Cardo. For the F, shoot it. For the F, for sure. <laughs> for the I wear them on, on the show. Shoot it. All right, let's get into some shit, though, man. Yes, yeah, sir. 